Question 13. Look at the triangle on the square grid. Rotate it 90 degrees anti-clockwise around point R. Draw the triangle in its new position. Now one of the things to realise is that anti-clockwise means the opposite direction to a clock. So that means it needs to be rotated towards the left. 90 degrees is a right angle. So we're only going to be turning it a quarter of the way round. If I try to imagine turning this shape around, I would probably turn my paper. Tracing paper also helps for doing this. But we can see that instead of going across, this line of length 2 would be going straight down now. Now this is just a sketch to show what the shape should look like. Then we're going to look for a second mark at its location. Now the diagonal line that comes off from this right hand side comes off a diagonal of three squares. So instead of it going up and left for three squares, if we rotate it 90 degrees, instead of up and left to northwest, it will go down left to the southwest. So one, two, three, with two sides we can finish the shape off. So we've turned this shape around one quarter turn, 90 degrees, anti-clockwise. Unfortunately, it does tell us that we have to rotate around point R. And what that tells us is that if we imagined this point here to be like on a clock, pointing to the number 12, and R is the middle of the clock, Try to imagine that hand turning 90 degrees round to the left. So that corner between the short and the long side has gone round in a set quarter circle to here. That corner being this one here means that we can draw our rotated shape exactly the same way, so diagonally down and left. And that's gone 90 degrees round, but using R as the centre of rotation.